Thanks for tuning in to the Roundtable Real Estate Simplified. If you haven't listened to the rest of the show, uh, we changed our theme song. Don't worry, this is still the Roundtable. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with that Marvin Gaye song. That means one thing. It means that Jennifer Jaber with ariablogger.com is here to tell us about the top five events here in Rhode Island. Jennifer, go ahead. Take it away. All right. Here we go. All right. Friday the 14th is the Haunted Providence Masquerade Ball at Aurora Providence at 9 p.m. The theme, which I think leads to like all kinds of costumes, is good versus evil. (laughs) You can have a lot of fun with that. Um, There's costume contests, so definitely get creative and do your best to go all out with your costume. There'll be fortune tellers on site in case you're seeking to know what the future holds, which I'm always afraid to do. Yes, never. (laughs) I won't do it. Yeah, me neither. I've never done it, but so many people do it, and I'm always scared. Uh, There'll be catering by RISD, refreshments, dancing, a show, and the silent auction will benefit the Providence Animal Rescue League, so it's a great Uh reason to get into the spirit of Halloween and take care of our little furry friends at the Providence Rescue League. Tickets are $40 per person. October 15th and 16th is the Hop Arts. Um, This features more than 30 local artists in southern Rhode Island. They'll open their studios for your pleasure. There'll be paintings, sculptures, glass, textiles, ceramics, jewelry, and so much more, and it's all along the Hop Arts Trail. Where's that? It is 10 to 5. Uh, Rain or shine, and it's the Hoppington and Richmond area. So it's a beautiful way to spend a fall day walking through, and there's so many local artists out that way that you don't necessarily know about, and they will be opening their doors so you can come in and check them out. Uh, Maps are also available online so you don't get lost. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's a good well, It's so hard to get lost nowadays, but I will still get lost with a GPS, still. I know, I know. I, I try not to use it, too, because then I realize how much you start to rely on it. Oh, it's awful. You just, you know, you just don't even really pay attention to where you are. Yeah, no. Wait for Siri to tell you to go left or right. <laughs> Between the texting and emailing while you're driving. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, some more pumpkin fun for the pumpkin lovers, because there are many of them. Sunset Farms in Narragansett will be having a pumpkin festival on the 16th from 10 to 4. There'll be hay rides, live music, pumpkin painting, a rock wall, and line dancing from Mishnach Barn, which is really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and their own food truck will be there. It's delicious, so it's a great way to spend another fall day with family and friends in the Narragansett area. Moving along, Newport Vineyards will be hosting Project 3.8 Photography Exhibition. If you haven't heard about it yet, it's an amazing, amazing project. Um, it's from 12 to 5 on October 23rd. This project is inspired by Dorian Murray, hashtag D-Strong, who's literally changed the world. Yes, he um, has. With his incredible spirit. And the project features Robin Ivy's photos um, of 20 amazing children currently battling cancer right here God in Rhode Island. Ugh. And I know the, the project is the vision of both Robin and Dorian Murray's mother, Melissa Murray. And the Name 3.8, which is, this is a really interesting fact that I didn't Mm -hmm. know, aims to draw attention to the fact that only 3.8% of national cancer funding goes to pediatric cancer. Wow, that's it? That's it. That's it. So so it's a great cause, and it's really, you know, that awareness really needs to be there, especially with that funding piece. Um, So it's a a photography exhibition, it's a fundraiser, and it's an awareness campaign. It's a $10 suggested donation, of course, Mm -hmm. you know always donate more but it's really a great event to support and and, um you know i I really didn't realize that until i've been following this project 3.8 and i thought that was staggering to know that yeah wow that that is yeah and and while on the subject switching gears a little bit but newport (laughs) vineyards on october 28th will be holding their i'm going to this one too so i'm really excited Mm -hmm. halloween carnival evil (laughs) at the end uh this is set to be one of the best costume parties this season There'll be circus performing, tarot reading, and craziness all night long. And the whole clown thing is sort of like freaking me out now when I'm thinking about all these clowns oh, running through the vineyards. But <laughs> at $75 a ticket includes creepy cocktail hour with food, a drink ticket, tarot reading, and circus performers, live music from the silks, cash bar to follow, and, of course, prizes for the best costumes. And it's Friday, October 28th from 7 to 11 at Newport Vineyards. That's great. And, you know, I'm not sure if, if you got, if you're able to uh, get all those out, but I can, uh, you can go back to that in a second if, if you have something else you want to share. But I, I want to give um, the Haunted Labyrinth in uh, Cranston, Rhode Island on 804 Dyer Avenue. Um, I want to give them a shout out for doing such a wonderful job. 
Actually, one of uh, our members on the Despirito team, one of our partners, Joe Fazio, he uh, he uh, he actually runs that, and uh, with help of a ton of volunteers, it's a, a wonderful thing. But they do a wonderful job. It is so scary, and it's Rhode Island's longest running haunt. Uh, Thirty-two years, I believe. Thirty-two yeah, it's years. Awesome! I'm going this year. Um, I'm excited about it. it. I always get really creeped out about going to them, but I yeah. love it. That weird thing where you like want to be scared, but you don't want to be scared. And and their theme is uh, Cirque de Horror, and uh, basically it's it's like a circus theme with those crazy clowns. Jennifer, um, was there anything else that you wanted to share with us? Nope. We just uh, put out another post. Thirteen wicked scary happenings in Rhode Island. So if you're interested in that. Um, you know, be sure to follow the blog. There's lots of things to do this season. And um, always check our Facebook page and follow us on all social media. That's awesome. So riblogger.com. So you can see.